let's begin with the writer and director of the movie, David O. Russell. From the cast, we have Dash Mihawk. Who's next? We went all the way to the end, my friend. We also have Paul Herman. Shay Wiggum. Chris Tucker. Oscar nominee for Best Supporting Actress, Jackie Weaver. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert De Niro. And Oscar nominee for Best Actor, Bradley Cooper. The kind of centerpiece scene that we've talked about is the, the parlay scene. And I think almost all of you on this stage are, are in some or all of that scene. And what I love about that is it's when all of the worlds of the movie collide. Yeah, in hindsight, on the day it was terrifying because it was Robert De Niro and I was <laughs> shouting at him. And then I also, I, I, the, I don't normally like read my lines like the, the day before and then for some reason I like got into bed and I was like, why not just see what scene we're doing tomorrow. And then I saw that it was like the two page monologue day and I was like, oh my God. And so I had to, try to memorize it and I thought that sports teams were like interchangeable. So I was just like, well, we'll worry about that later. And then I was like saying that a football team beat a baseball team and was like just talking nonsense. Dancing was a lot more fun because that was the easiest, best way to get close with somebody and get the chemistry that we had. It wouldn't have been possible. I mean, we were like, hey, how are you? And then like sweating and his face is in my crotch. Like try, <laughs> try to get closer to an actor. One of my favorite moments is the scene where you go up to the attic and I mean, it's the moment where you, where you really show what this relationship means to you and it's beyond the sports scores. What was going through your mind as you were preparing for that scene? And I think it's the kind of scene that also is very universal as far as families struggling to connect with each other. Um, I didn't, in the, in the back of my head, I knew what, what the, the overall thing would be, but I didn't plan anything specific. Uh, when, what, how, I just said, the last thing I had on my mind, that was all there, just don't even plan it, don't do it, don't go, just, you'll go there, be, as they say, be in the moment, period, just be there, uh, and that's what I did. Um, because if you get, more like trying to, oh, I want to get to this big, it never, it never works. It's always, just doesn't work. You just got to like let go and forget about it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Whatever you do is okay. Just be truthful, honest, real, and that's all you can ask for. Jackie, would you say that your character, what's so fascinating about her is that she's so open in trying to build these relationships in her family, but she's surrounded by people who are kind of closed off to her. She comes from a deep well of, adoration for a husband and son and um, look at these two it's not hard and uh, <laughs> and she um, and she walks a she walks a tightrope but she walks on eggshells right from the beginning she's frightened that he's gonna that uh, that Patrizio is gonna get furious about um, Pat being home she's not bad she brings him in the door she's a, a careful frightened nervous but she loves them. Now that you've seen it a bunch of times and you've had a lot of reactions from people, what do you think this movie can tell people about the power of human connection? Well, I think that Tiffany knew that she and Pat were perfect for each other from the beginning. I think that her struggle was just getting him to realize that and knowing that she had to go through this process, knowing that she was dealing, she, she knew him. I think that um, she kind of, knew what she had to do and how to play along and, and what to do to, to get it done the same way that Bradley knew about the letter. He, he knew instantly and instead of just confronting, he knew how to deal with Tiffany the same way that Tiffany knew how to deal with Pat. Empathy seems to be the thing that's coming across that people are sort of uh, uh, seeing the movie and seeing these characters and understanding 
the, their, their plight, whereas maybe other, in another scenario they wouldn't and just sort of judge the behavior. But we sort of give a, um, a reason behind it and, a, and, as David said, a heart and a soul to these conditions, in quotes. Art can do what medicine can't and that, you know, any medication that anybody gets, that a doctor will tell you the best hope is you can, it can make a 15 to 30 percent difference. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it can be life-changing if it gives you enough opportunity to pivot into the better choice. And I would say that's true if you have one person who understands you, because his father loves him, his mother loves him. They don't completely understand him. His brother loves him. You know, his best friend perhaps understands him. But she understood him right from the get-go, and he sort of understood her and got her right out of the get-go. And that can be enough to, to go on, to make you get through the day and get you through, through life, you know? Well, I congratulate you all on the movie. For those of you out there who have not seen it, Silver Linings Playbook is in theaters now. Be sure to check it out, and thank you to all of you for being here today. Thank you, thank you everybody.